Hey Daniel, it's Mr. Smith. Um, let's go ahead and look at this. It says a simple random sample of size n equals 200. Uh, drivers with a valid driver's license is asked if they drive an American-made automobile. Of the 200 drivers surveyed, 120 responded that they drive an American-made automobile. Determine if a majority of those with a valid driver's license drive an American-made automobile at the 0 0.05 level of significance. So first of all, it asks about whether this or what kind of data we have here, or what type of variable. It is qualitative and notice you've got two possible outcomes. Either you drive an American made automobile or you don't. And so that's why it's qualitative with two possible outcomes. What type of hypothesis test is appropriate to conduct for this research? So this is considered a characteristic those that either drive American-made automobiles or not. And so we're going to use the population proportion hypothesis test. The only other option we have is population mean because those are the only two we did. So if you're looking for a majority, you would let P equal 0.5 and a majority would indicate that your alternative hypothesis would be that P is greater than 0.5. Of course, you had gotten through all of these. Uh, which distribution should be used for this hypothesis test? So it's uh, so you've got the normal distribution because the parameter is a proportion p, and the model conditions are met are satisfied. So remember, with proportions, you don't need like with um, the mean. You have to have uh, where n. Well, actually, n is greater than 30 anyway, but n would be need to be 30, greater than 30. Um, we could also do the, remember, the p times, I'm sorry, it's n times p times p minus 1. That has to be greater or equal to 10. And so you could verify that that's true. And also, we can assume that since we're only looking at 200 drivers out of... <laughs> probably all American drivers. Um, we're definitely under 5% of the population, so it meets all those conditions. So we do have a normal distribution. I don't know if I said it, but that also needs to be a simple random sample, which it is. Okay, so calculate the test statistic. So remember that's Z sub naught when you're dealing with population proportions. So let's go ahead and go to StatCrunch. And we'll do stat. We're dealing with proportion stats with summary. And so there were 120 out of the 200 that drive American cars. Notice we got P is 0.5. Now here, make sure you change this to greater than 0.5, greater than 50%. That would make a majority. And then we can go ahead and hit compute. So I'm going to write down the information we need here. So the Z stat or need a Z naught, which is what we want, is 2.828. So that's about 2.83 to the nearest 100. And the P value, we should write that down, is 0.0023. Let's go back to the problem. So I'm not sure what you're doing to get this answer, but um, basically it's the test statistic, which is Z sub naught in this case, when you're dealing with population proportion. We did get 2.3. The p-value we got, if you round to three decimal places, is 0.002. So notice that is uh, less than 0 0.05, and so we are going to reject the null hypothesis because of that, because it is less than our level of significance. So we are going to reject the null hypothesis. There is sufficient evidence at the 0 0.05 level to conclude that more than half of all drivers with a valid driver's license drive an American-made automobile. All right, and so that's it for that problem.
um hope that helps if you have any other questions let me know